is I've taken some strawberries off the uh, buffet line here, and I'm uh, and they've obviously been washed, you know, because they want to wash them, prepare them for the customers to eat there. But you know, they've been washed with the water that comes out of the tap here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some some this this is the Enagic 11.5 water, which is a very strong solvent. We're going to show you something here a little later that's just going to amaze you. But I'm going to pour some of that water in here. This here, and generally we have more more water than this, but that's going to that's going to show you. Do we have another bottle, honey? Yeah. It's a, Alright, so I'll, I'll take some of that, but I, what I'd like to do is kind of cover the top of them. And we're going to see here, and, and if I get another cup here, another cup, yeah, if I get another cup here, you can see it's, it's in here, you know, just a short period of time, but we can see that already the water is starting to turn yellow. Is that good or bad? That, that's bad because what we're doing is we're taking the pesticides and herbicides that are on this off. Now these are all oil-based all oil-based chemicals. The reason they're oil-based is when, when a, a farmer or a person wants to irrigate and uh, his, his fields, he doesn't want the, the pesticides and the fertilizers washing off, washing the ground. Because they're very, very expensive chemicals that they're using. So what they do is they they uh, have have been carried by oils. So the oil sticks to the sticks to the plant, holds the chemical there, and repels the water. Well, no ordinary water. We know that oil and water do not mix. So ordinary water isn't going to wash the, the oil off the off the pesticide here. This has been here what a little less than a minute. We can see it's turning yellow. But let's take and pour this out here. And I know the lighting's not real. Yeah. We can see the yellow there. And what that yellow is is that's the, the pesticides and herbicides and things that have been washed off this fruit here. So now when you taste this fruit, uh, I want you to take, take one here and try it and taste it. Take a piece there. And you're going to see that it is so much more flavorful because you and also it's healthy because you're not eating the pesticide. It sure the is. Wow, it makes a huge difference. And that, what was that there, 45 seconds? So we're showing how we can take this, take this, the water from this machine. And it's not only for drinking, but it's an all part of our life. So if we wash the fruits and vegetables that we have, we consume, we wash the rice and the, and the pasta that we consume with this water here and cook it with this water, it's gonna be so much better for us. Also now, if we put these in the refrigerator, Okay, they're going to last for days. They will not rot. They will not spoil. So if you take if you take some lettuce or tomatoes and things like that, and rinse it off when you get them before you put them in your crisper, and and you rinse them with the 11.5 water. You're washing all the all the pesticides on on the product off of them, and they're going to stay fresh for two or three times as long as they normally would. So you're going to drive your cost down too because you're going to be able to consume 100% of what you buy and not be throwing away soggy onions and soggy lettuce and uh, uh, tomatoes. So it won't soggy. go bad. No, they won't, they won't go bad. So it's amazing. But let me take and show you one other thing here very, very quickly. Jennifer, if you could give me another, another container. Give me some sesame oil. Uh, here, this is this is sesame. It's Imperial Dragon sesame oil, and we know I need another cup too here in a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour just a little bit of that sesame oil in here, and I'm going to pour some in this container. There, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take water and I'm going to pour it into the oil, and we get the reaction that we would expect. See how it bubbles up there, it separates. That's the, that's the normal reaction that we would expect expect from here. But again, what what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the same water that we washed the the strawberries with, and I'm going to pour it in under this this sesame oil. Hey, and watch what happens. It's absolutely, hang on to your chairs, folks. This is going to be amazing. Look at that. It's emulsified. It turned into milk. It's absolutely amazing. 
Now, if we had enough of this, what I would do is I would go to a sink and I would pour this in the sink gently, so I would leave a film of oil on the sink, and then I'd come after it and I'd pour this down and over our top of it, and it would just move it right down the right down the uh, sink, cleaning all the, uh, all the. So it shows the strong power of the of the Tongan water and how it can actually help you uh, in more ways than than, than uh, take care of your thirst. It can help you maintain your health. It can regain your health by taking all these harmful pesticides and, and chemicals out of your body and making sure sure that you uh, that, that you don't have to. You're not taking them into your system. Also, it's going to give you happiness because you're going to have a better piece of fruit, better vegetable to to. Uh, to consume, so you're gonna, so your appetite is gonna be satisfied a lot faster with a lot less food, and you get full enjoyment out of what you eat. So this, I wanted to show you again here the power, power we have here. And folks, when I first saw this, I just about fell off the chair when I saw what what happened here. You can see that that this here is no matter what we do with it, it's just gonna run. But look at this right here. This is just like milk, just like milk. So what does that mean? That means that means that what we've done, we've taken the strong power of the alkaline water, the, the 11.5 pH, the microclustering, and what we've done is we've, we've given it the ability to react with these uh, with, with this oil here and break it down and emulsify. That shows a strong penetrating properties of that. Now you know this what we've shown you right here with these pesticides is used in Japan a lot. They used to have, in, they, they do a lot of they do a lot of uh, uh, farming there uh, indoors, and and they'll, they used to use harmful pesticides. The guys would be in there with masks and whatnot. Now they're in there with their flip flops, tank tops, and, and baseball hats, and working safely and producing a much better, better food product for us. Thank you very much.